More than 10,500. That's how many Naloxone or Narcan kits the city of Phoenix has passed out in a year. Having Narcan and Naloxone readily available um, really at the end of the day saves lives. These nasal sprays are a life-saving tool that can reverse opioid and fentanyl overdoses. According to the Arizona Department of Health Services, so far this year there have been more than 2,200 non-fatal overdoses. Yanitza Soto with the city of Phoenix says that they're looking to keep these numbers from turning into fatalities. We want to ensure that this life-saving medication um, is accessible to everyone. Now, usually Narluxone or Narcan can be found at pharmacies for about 40 to 50 bucks or even higher in some cases. But the city program is to provide this stuff for free for people. These kits can be found at most city buildings. Most readily available to all community are, is across our 17 public libraries across the city of Phoenix. Um, most are provided in clear uh, displays um, in uh, common areas in the libraries. No taxpayer money is used to fund this program. The city pays for it through an opioid settlement the federal government had with major pharma companies and distributors. Arizona receives about $1.2 billion a year from that settlement, and Maricopa County gets $2.5 million of that. Soto says this money will help fund this program for years to come. We look forward to expanding the naloxone program in our second year. We're currently um, hosting and, and completing a one-year evaluation of the program. We're eager to learn the areas that we can continue improving and building upon and how it will contribute to our substance use strategic plan overall in the next few years. Now, there are other cities as well as counties across Arizona that have their own resources when it comes to opioids or overdoses. We'll put all that information on our website, azfamily.com.